Woohoo! Hello, dear friends. Chris here. I hope you're well. Um, so I have an unboxing for you today, and there are five items. Um, but before I get to that, let me just take care of the obligatories. So please join me and my f dear friend Angie from Angie's Diamond Painting, and Painting Adventures um, on our Facebook group. Uh, and just answer the questions um, to be approved and the link to that will be down below in the description box as well as these items I have for you today um, the, um, let's see um, I <laughs> sorry when you know you know when you go a few days without filming everything flies out so before I even get to that I should say welcome everybody um, thank you to all my new friends my new subscribers um, I hope you enjoy it here, and thank you to, of course, my old friends, my two blues, my nears and dears, for your continued support, love, and kindness. It's truly appreciated. Um, and so, let's talk about what I have. Um, now, of course, I don't know the provenance of any of these items, so if this is an issue for you, I understand, and thank you for watching to this point, um, if you care to leave. Um, I have five items. They are from, as my... <laughs> Sister from another Mr. Uh, Maritza says Fagobi. <laughs> it's F G O B Y. And um, I have five items. I have two bubble rounds and three quillings. And so I guess let's just get right into it, right? Okay. So the first one I have is a 30 by 30. It has 22 shapes, colors, and sizes. And it is adorable. We have our little alpaca. I call them alpaca because I love alpacas. Um, in the desert with some cacti and the nice sky. So let's take a look at the, the Legends of the Falls. Tour of the Canvas. As always on these, they're very, very clear. Always very clear, I should say. So, let's see. Very sticky. And, um, yeah, so super cute. He actually looks like he might be ready for Christmas with those uh, little, it looks like little lights around him or something. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the diamonds. Let's see. CU035. Okay, so as always, remember, check the item number up there with what's written on the package and to make sure they are correct. So as I said, there's 22 here, so let's go through these pretty quick. So our background is the blue color, these beautiful blue rhinestones, which will also be in medium and then large. And we just have wet regular whites, more blues, different shades of blue. into lots of different greens. Now we have some marquees, some teardrops, and a few more rhinestones, and these faceted beautiful red rounds. So let's take another look. There we go. If I forgot to say anything, I'm sorry. Like I said, it's been a f quite a, a while since I did an unboxing. And I don't know. It's just the memory. Okay. So the next item I have is also the, se the second bubble round. And it's just simply adorable. It has 15 shapes, colors, and sizes. And we have this cute little unicorn 
kind of float levitating above a sea of flowers. So here's our legend. And do a tour of the canvas. Perfectly sticky. Okay. So let's look. So the background will be um, in white and you'll see these large and medium size as well as the regular size. And we have marquees, some be two beautiful teardrops, some fuchsia rounds and more rounded uh, things. And we have these beautiful smooth teardrops. Let's look at our little floating unicorn. Okay. So, sorry. Oh, I have an itchy nose today. Mm. So, the neck. Oh, by the way, they all come, of course, with the standard toolkit, a tray, some wax, and a diamond painting pen. Everything you need to actually diamond paint. Um, so, the next three I have are the quilling type. The quilling aren't my favorite kind. However, when I see ones that I do like, which are usually ones that have more gemstones as opposed to rhinestones, I'll get them. And so I kind of, two of those kind of fit here. And I got also this other one. It's a longer one. It's a 30 by 60. because so I wanted to just try them out and see how these were. Um, it has 11 shapes, colors, and sizes. And there's a little more coverage than most of the quilling ones out there on this one. So first, let's take a look at the Legends of the Fall. There we have it. So there are probably just, well, at least what I could see is maybe two shapes and the rest rhinestones. And this is the thumbnail. But this is the picture so as you can see quite a bit of it is diamond painted it's still a partial for sure because there's um the background uh, lots of areas and this area down here and the yellow is not diamond painted however in areas like in that red area there will be some in the this lattice area will be and of course all in the middle flowers so that's what i kind of liked about this one um is that it's a the coverage is a lot more than typical quilling ones have. Now this doesn't have a lot of shapes um, or different special shapes, but that's all right. You know, the coverage kind of makes up for that one. Although it would be lovely if it did have more, but you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what that means. It's just something people say. So it's really pretty. And of course I love it because it has the beautiful purpley and pink flowers and the leaves with that swirl leaf. Oh, it'd be very pretty. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, I should check the sticky. I didn't check the sticky on this one earlier. Yep, very good. Woo. That plastic almost got put down the wrong way. So like I said, there's 11, only 11 in this one, but because there is um, a lot of rhinestones, we have full bags, this pretty purple, and we have some amber colors. There's two of the bags of those. 
this brownish color two bags of those so honestly not loving these two colors but this is kind of a fally kind of uh looking painting and we have pinks and greens then we have some marquees purple oh we have some clear and we have tiny little sliver marquees i've never i don't think i've ever seen oh have i i don't know i've done so many i forget usually the slivers are kind of a teardrop shape but these are marquee shaped sl clear slivers so that'll be fun <laughs> hence nobody really likes doing the sliver ones Okay, so let's take one last look at this one. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now this one is a 30 by 40. Um, it has 16 shapes, colors, and sizes. And um, it's, a, again, our paper quilling. Now, I actually like the background here because it is um, this uh, teal and black stripe as opposed to being kind of more of a plain background. Uh, here you can see the legend. That's the thumbnail. And again, this kind of looks more like a fall kind of painting. Again, I like this one because look at in the basket they have tons of bigger st stones, and here we have tons of bigger stones, and in the flower, uh, the sunflower, you have them. Now the of course the printed background is not sticky. The only part that's sticky is where the drills go. So let's take a look. I don't think I'll have a time or I'll be able to finish one of these um, by the time you see it. I usually like to do that, but I probably won't be able to do that this time. But just look out for my post reviews because I do put post finishes up. And usually I have a bunch of mixed stuff in finishes. Finish videos, I should say. So you never know what's going to pop up in one of those. Now we have our gems, pretty gems. See, I love all the bigger ones. They're so nice. Our last one my favorite of the bunch I saved the best to last um, even favorite compared to the bubble rounds um, it's a 30 by 30 it has 15 shapes colors and sizes I adore this one N not only because of the design and the colors but also as I just said the size of the shapes look at it Wow finally a kit that has tons of look at all of them I mean compared to how many how little rhinestones look at all those beautiful uh, what would be um, gemstones going in there okay so let's take a look at all the beautiful things that are gonna go in there
so we have seven rhinestones and the rest are all these special shapes these two beautiful um, emerald greens we have teardrops beautiful iridescent ones well they're they're uh, and they're like they're a aqua bluish color on camera it's coming off like they're clear but they're actually a blue color we have some green a beautiful look at those beautiful red huge red ones half pearls tons of them and these gorgeous again teardrops and marquee large ones and of course this in a separate bag these stunning textured blue iridescent like feather type gems love them again to recap beautiful stunning there's that this one this one this one and this so with that said I would like to thank all you dear friends for watching again and supporting please comment below comments um, likes dislikes questions concerns whatever let me know I want to hear from you it always makes me feel good and again thank you to FGOBY or for Gobi um, and uh, well, everything will be linked below, so check them out. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm just going to do this real quick. I finished this. It was great. It's a partial. As you can see, the printed background. Very nice. It makes the design pop. Here's up close. Very pretty large gemstones there. And uh, I really like this one. This is one of the, definitely one of the better designs. And um, love the jewels. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.